Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, as you can see, I'm going to be talking about my top four picks of Netflix shows that to me are the most binge-worthy shows on Netflix. Um, this is all my personal opinion, it's not fact. Um, you guys can have your opinions down below in the comments section below. But here are my top four picks of the most binge-worthy shows uh, to start 2018 off. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first show I'm going to be talking about is Homeland. Now this is an American TV show, um, really based around the CIA. Um, but the first season kind of starts off um, with um, Damien Lewis's character, um, who is a soldier who's been uh, held captive in Afghanistan for around four years. Uh, he's finally found um, and he's been you know, brought home uh, back to his family. And the main plot really starts off when he comes back home to America and there is information to suggest that he has been uh, what is known as turned, which means that he's actually been um, turned against America, uh, against the terrorists, and uh, he's, he's plotting to attack American soil. And it's up to this main CIA character, we, we find um, Claire Danes' character, who um, is tasked or be truly believes that he's been turned in captivity and is plotting against America. And that's where the first season kind of takes off. She, she, she sets out to try and prove that uh, he's no longer loyal to America or the, or the army. And he's actually plotting to harm America uh, and American civilians. So that's where season one continues uh, or takes off. And then the rest of the seasons are kind of different every season. But they're all following, you know, the same, you know, side stories from all the different characters, and uh, it just develops into one big massive story. Um, it's a great, great show, guys. I actually managed to watch the show in under probably two months, um, which might seem a long time, but there is like five seasons of the show, and they are quite long seasons. So, you know, it does take some time, um, but it was a truly amazing show. Um, I was watching. You know a season per week um and in, in some cases um it was truly an amazing watch um you know i just delved right into it and i got indulged in all the characters the storylines um so yeah at number four is homeland all right guys so the next one i'm going to be talking about is spartacus um by stars programming and uh, this is a really good show uh, it's four seasons long and there was complications when filming it um because if you don't know the main actor uh, who played Spartacus did die of cancer uh, shortly after the first season. Um, so they actually con uh, continued and they made a prequel series um, which um, was not involving the Spartacus character. So they made that um, and then when you know when they found out he died they did want to finish the, the show off. So they did replace him uh, with a brand new um, actor and they did complete the series with seasons two and three. So technically, you know, there is four seasons of the show. Um, but it's still a great show. Season one is amazing. Like, one of my favourite seasons of a show ever. Um, I've watched it so many times. Um, sometimes I go into watching it knowing I'm only watching season one. Um, it's such a good season. Um, if you know the guy who plays Jonathan uh, from the Mummy films, he's in the fil uh, the series, sorry. And uh, he plays um, Barty Artis who is um, basically the chief or the, the, the employer of the, um, the gladiators uh, from the gladiator school he runs. Uh, and of course Spartacus um, is taken slave there uh, to become a gladiator. As I said, it's kind of the same as the um, Kirk Douglas film from uh, the 60s, I believe it was. Uh, and so, you know, it, it becomes a slave and then he becomes uh, a gladiator. And he's training and training and training and then he eventually fights in the arenas and you know it's basically his journey uh, throughout the series so it is quite quite similar to uh, the original movie they did kind of stick quite close to it uh, which is pretty good you know they didn't divert a whole lot um, there is a lot of differences um, it is an adult program it's not like the 60s one where you know it's PG this one is quite a lot of bloody brutal violence um, you know they, they really don't hold back uh, there is a lot of sex in it. There's a language in it. You know, it's it's almost as if you're watching a hate for your show But it's so good and it adds to it. You know, it really adds its own style, you know, the kind of 
the the gore effects are kind of like the 300 films uh where the splatter kind of comes out and it's kind of slow motion it's kind of like that so if you like that kind of style you will absolutely love this show um so yeah spartacus definitely check it out especially if you liked the original movie uh with kirk douglas um yeah really great series i highly recommend it all right guys so the next series i'm going to be talking about uh is actually a netflix original show uh called mind hunters and uh, this is a fairly new show it came out in october of 2017 and this is a really good show and i was very skeptical about watching it i didn't know if i was going to like it or not uh, but I watched the trailer a couple of times and I thought, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, now, the main reason I watched it was it was produced by David Fincher, who I'm a huge fan of. You know, he's done um, Seven, he did Zodiac, he did um, Gone Girl, amazing films. He also did The Social Network, um, all films that I absolutely love. And, you know, Seven and Zodiac are some of my all-time favourites. So that's one of the main reasons why I watched this show. And I totally do not regret it. Um, so Mindhunter is set in the 70s and it's around, based around two uh, FBI um, agents or detectives. And one of them usually just teaches um, cops and other agencies uh, about hostage negotiations. Um, but he's now formed a new um, team uh, to, to research into serial killers and what goes on in their minds before, during and after the crime and how they can spot these people quite early on in their life uh, and kind of, you know, um, kind of prevent it from happening or prevent them from becoming ill and, and, and doing these vicious crimes. And it's a really, really, really good story. Um, now this was set way before Serial Killer was even, you know, a, a definition or a name for a person that kills more than once. Um, so in the show, they're uh, well, quite a while after the show, they are soon kind of known as sequence killers, which was kind of the first name before serial killer came around. And as I said, it's all about the behaviour of the criminals, and it kind of reminds me of Hannibal a little bit, the TV show, because they do kind of walk through some crime scenes, and they kind of you know, it, it can't tell what happens you know, because he's got powers or anything, but he kind of can figure it out because he's a very smart detective and it's it has similarities to Hannibal, you know. Um, some of the crimes are, are similar to Hannibal where they're quite, you know, they're quite brutal and disturbing. Um, so if you don't, if you didn't like Hannibal because of the kind of disturbingness in that, maybe not the show for you, but if you liked Hannibal, you know, thumbs up, it's a great show for you. Um, I personally love the Hannibal TV show, um, but yeah, so it is kind of disturbing and brutal and kind of a bit gory here and there, um, but again, you know, that adds to the TV show, um, and so that's the, that's the storyline, um, you know, they, they try and uh, interview um, quite a few serial killers or in the show sequence killers uh, to kind of determine how to prevent them, you know, to kind of suss people out that are likely to be doing it in the future. Um, it's a really, really good show. Check out the trailer uh, if you're still unsure about watching it. Um, I believe the next season is going to be towards the end of this year, so you've got plenty of time to get caught up. It's only nine episodes, um, and the episodes kind of vary in time. Some episodes are only half an hour, some episodes are an hour, um, so it kind of varies, but an amazing show, totally worth uh, looking into and checking out. Alright guys, so the final show I'm going to be talking about here today uh, it's the show called Hannibal, uh, which I did just mention uh, a little bit earlier uh, in the video. But Hannibal is totally worth mentioning. Um, if you've seen the original movies, you will love this. Um, it's kind of a prequel to Red Dragon. Um, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with the Hannibal films, uh, the, the order went Red Dragon, uh, Silence of the Lambs, and then Hannibal. But this series is set um, way before um, Red Dragon, or it kind of leads up into Red Dragon. Um, and this is a really good show. Again, uh, it's about these uh, two detectives, and, well, a crime unit, I should say, um, for, the, again, the FBI. And they are, um, you know, their, their main um, goal in that department um, is to track down murderers and serial killers um, and, 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 you know, violent criminals 
and they actually get help from Dr. Lecter, um, which is Hannibal Lecter. Um, and this is way before, as I say, this is before he or the, the world knows that, you know, he's a cannibal and, you know, he's murdered tons of people. Um, so they actually come to him for help and he kind of, in his own way, helps the, the department um, with, you know, catching uh, the murderers and the serial killers and things like that. It's a very basic plot, but the actual show itself can get quite complex at times and quite complicated. Um, you know, it's one of those shows you have to pay attention to, um, or else you'll miss like the smallest thing, and then it'll come and bite you in the ass because you you know you won't know what it's about. Um, so it is one of those shows, but it's a really really great show. It's so interesting to watch. It's really well put together. You know, it's really high production. Um, I would definitely check out Hannibal, guys, especially if you like the uh, movies and you just haven't gotten into the show yet. Uh, definitely give it a watch. As I said before, it is quite a violent show and it's, it is quite disturbing. There is certain uh, scenes that are, you know, the crime scenes, but you, you, it's still quite disturbing. Um, so if you don't like that sort of stuff, you, you won't like the show. But if you can put up with it and you don't mind it, um, then it's, a, it's one of the best shows on Netflix you can watch, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that was Hannibal. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Definitely go and check out some of the shows that I've recommended. Uh, if you want to see me do another video uh, recommending another four shows uh, that are on Netflix and are binge worthy, definitely uh, drop a comment below. Uh, if you've got any recommendations for me to watch, definitely leave them down below. Uh, and lastly, check out my Twitter and my Instagram. Links are down in the description. Uh, I talk about uh, giveaways I'm going to be doing uh, when I reach uh, like 100 followers. Um, all the uploads that I'm posting, I'll post on there uh, to let you guys know. Uh, I'll be doing giveaways on there. I'll be doing uh, many reviews, especially on Instagram. I do quite a lot of reviewing on there. Uh, so definitely check me out on there and we can start discussions, uh, especially on Instagram as well in the comment section. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, leave a like right on this video. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here and you enjoyed this. And until the next video guys, see you guys there. Peace.